jobs harder to come by in North Carolina tonight. Our unemployment rate jumped for a second month. It now sits at 9.7 percent. That takes a toll on not only business, but education. Tonight, local schools are fighting just to get students to graduation. They're discouraged because they're, they're trying different majors and none of it's really what they want. Working full-time jobs, paying for everything they have to. Money is the issue. A long list of reasons why college students give up. Some students simply do not return and we never know why they don't return. But my, my guess is that much of it is economics. That 2% is the difference between the... Universities are finding new ways to help. At Winthrop, students get extra attention if they're struggling mid-semester or year-round help if they're at risk of failing. They meet with an academic mentor weekly who kind of just is their partner and collaborator on utilizing resources at winter. You never know when a student is going to come back next semester or next year. Johnson C. Smith University's Dominique Rice is in the STEM school, offering scholarships, success coaches, and tutors for some of the most difficult majors. The goal is to move the needle with regard to increasing our retention rates and increasing our graduation rates. Pinkert is spearheading the Blue Ocean Strategy at JCSU, a White House initiative to lower dropout rates by connecting students to money and academic health. You're gonna have these two, these five basic equations. Different schools but the same problem and the same goal, getting students in and out. The public school dropout rate is the highest at 53 percent. A Pew Research study found the biggest dropout reasons, students leaving to support their family and students who just can't afford tuition. 1500